test? Matt Larkin, the answer is no. I will not be the oldest draft pick the Vancouver Canucks have ever taken at 48 years old. God, I recognize all of you. <laughs> My God, I don't. I do. Yes. I know ahead. you and you. You're a really good hockey player. You got good hands, dude. You've got silky mitts, my brother. You are the first person who's ever told me that. Because I'm the first real ever hockey fan, dude. I love you, man. Thank you. I love you. All right, we're start over here on the right. Uh, Will. Uh, Go for Will. You're obviously uh, wearing your Leaf hat. I'm just curious what the oh, reaction. Oh, my gosh. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I walked out. It was dark when I got dressed. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing my Leaf hat. It's a bit of a psych out. I'm trying to do a little bit of a psych out job. Uh, obviously, my team um, is captained by uh, Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisettel, two really good hockey players. Uh, and so we got to go against uh, a lot of guys stacked from, from my hometown. So I figured I'd just do a little mind game. I don't know. I'm not great at mind games. I'm just wondering what Connor and, and, and Leon thought when you came out in a leaf hat. They just have so much respect for me. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, you can see it in their eyes. They didn't say it. They didn't show it. But I can see it deep in their eyes. Right I don't, actually, I don't know what they thought. Right here on your left. How, how did starring in Blades of Glory prepare you for this role <laughs> as co-captain? <laughs> Finally, somebody has the guts to ask the question right. about Blades of Glory. Uh, it does not prepare me. I don't know what I'm doing. I was saying, you know, I said out there, and I don't know how you felt when they're saying, like, who are you going to pick? Now, you actually own a hockey team. I do not. But I said, the last thing you want to do when you're putting, putting a hockey team together is ask the actor uh, for his advice. So uh, I'm just trying to, like, help those guys make the best in uh, Blades of Glory. By the way, of all the skaters in Blades of Glory, of all the main actors, not the great, I was the best. I can say that because it's 15 years later, so I feel <laughs> yeah. safe. Yeah. We'll see on the left right over here. Yeah. Uh, this question is for Michael. Uh, Michael, you referenced tonight being in first place in your fantasy league. My mm -hmm. sources tell me that might not be completely accurate, but wow. uh, I wanted to ask you, how did you use your fantasy knowledge tonight to strategize in the draft? Uh, well, uh, I, I mean, well, mm -mm. I want to sound more like you. You got a beautiful Go ahead. Deep voice. Uh, Matt, I'm in more than one hockey league. That's all. So, uh, in the LHL, which I'm in with you, I happen to be in fifth place. Uh, even though I had no first overall pick, first pick even, I didn't even have a first rounder, um, and I still did what I had to do because of my genius. Second, I am first place in the FHL, other hockey, fantasy hockey league. Third, my buddy told me this is just a microdose of mushrooms, and he was lying. So. I'll be honest, I thought I was in Blades of Glory for most of the time that I was out there until it sort of settled down and then I realized, holy shit, I am at the NHL All-Star Game. You know, it just occurs to me that all uh, through all the incredible songs and, that you've done over the years yeah. and all the, the hearts of women that you've won over around the world, with all that talk about fantasy hockey, you lost them all in one sentence. <laughs> it all just evaporated. You years of building it up and just yeah. and it just gone. Yeah, the mushroom talk lost me all of my contracts. Well, the mushroom too. talk definitely lost you a lot of income. Yeah. yeah. Anybody got the guts to follow up on the mushrooms? Yeah, right here on the left. <laughs> um, I actually had a great question until the mushroom talk. Okay. Um, I was wondering now that the teams have been drafted, let's talk about the real action. Are there any side bets? Losing teams, matching tattoos, what are we talking about? We have a, uh, no, we're the, no, don't say it, Well, okay. we, this is real. Okay, this is So real. even though he was probably going to say we're just sort of yeah. figureheads, yeah. it's not true. It's we not. literally are the heart and soul of these teams. And I, uh, if they win, it'll be because of us. And if they lose, it will be because of us. And I, you know... Sorry. I'm not afraid to put it on the line. You know, I have a lot. I've, I've mentored a lot of coaches, hockey, soccer. The, Jurgen Klopp called me last week asking for some advice <laughs> over in Liverpool. And I just told him, stay strong. Uh, 
but this means a lot. This means a lot. Bragging rights in my hometown for real, to answer your question for real, bragging rights means a lot. And sure, if I, if I win, I don't know if we're going to get a tattoo or anything. Am I going to, and am I, I'm, you know, I'm 53. Am I going to rub it in, in Michael's face? Yeah. Yeah. A lot. There were deals, but honestly, for us, I don't know about you guys, but there were deals made. Uh, we won't probably talk about them, but there were definitely times where you could watch us walking over to the other podium. I don't know if we did it with you, but... We didn't do it, but there were deals. We, we talked even before, that talked about certain guys were like, hey, listen, we're, we're thinking, and it's probably much like it is in the, in the league, right? Yeah. Is, uh, we, I mean, you guys call it collusion. We call it um, working it out. I don't, I'm not saying that. I'm quoting you. Nick, on your right. You guys are used to being on screen, you know, in front of crowds and arenas, used to being around famous people. I'm curious, though, as hockey fans, like, what was it like for you to be up there with all these guys, and who did you want to meet? Who, did you, who were you like, this is cool for me as a hockey fan? I'll let you go. I, you think I'm I, – listen, I know I make, I, I make jokes and stuff, but uh, I, I, I love the hockey players and stuff, but I was as excited to hang out with him. And, and, you know, like, I'm a big fan, and... Uh, um, Don't get to know me. You know, <laughs> hey, but, I, buddy, we were like kids up there. You know, yeah. we're, you get to go out there, and you, 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 these guys are the best at what they do, and as a lifelong hockey fan, you know, just to... Met some of the, some of the boys who played for Toronto before, but I've never met Connor McDavid before. I mean, this guy's a generational, like I said before, gen Leon Dreisaitl, also a generational player. All these yeah. guys... Those are the things, yeah, you meet a lot of people, you meet a lot of uh, other entertainers, yeah. but uh, I get starstruck around athletes, and growing up in Toronto, I get starstruck around hockey players, for sure. Yeah, um, it was cool. It was so, I yeah. mean, listen, we're, I said it many times to my friends who asked, like, we were talking about Maddie. this is like the, the childhood dream of any yeah. kid who loves hockey, you know? You're out there with your, the, the guys that you watch and scream for, and, uh, and uh, it was, I mean, I called Tate McCray, I didn't know Tate before, and uh, I wanted to get, you know, I want to call her before we showed up. And uh, nothing, it was fun to just kind of connect on that level and not be alone up there. And to have, you know, Justin there beside me. Well, it was nice to not feel like, because it's kind of scary being up there. Yeah, you're up there, you're in front of the, th and this is one of those things, by the way, like, yeah, I've been doing it a long time. And so you people get used to it in your life. And I come and do this, and my phone is going crazy in my pocket as I'm on the ice, because all my buddies are like, they never text me about anything else I do. They want to care less. And they're, and they're like, oh, buddy, saw you yeah. on the draft. You're doing great, or whatever, you know? Yeah. I was getting, I was getting upset, because my, all of my, my text, it was people that, that know me and, you know, and love, and they kept saying to me, congratulations, congratulations on, being chosen to go to the All-Star game. And I was like, congratulations, I'm a, I'm a superstar. <laughs> I was like, they, they need me to come to the All-Star game. What do you mean? And they were acting like, it was like, congratulations, they picked you. I was very upset about it. <laughs> By the way, let me just say, congratulations. <laughs> and we've got time for one more, right in the front. Is, is, gentlemen, there's a request and a question. Um, uh -oh. Since David Amber brought up hockey hair downstairs, um, if I could have you both say at one point, congrats on making the all hockey hair team. And then the question is, did either one of you ever have pretty solid hockey, f hockey flow? Oh, yeah. For, wait, first part we're saying congrats on the... Uh, is that the Minnesota State uh, High School thing? Congrats, congrats on, on making, making the, the all hockey, hockey hair, hair team. team. One more tick, here we go. Congrats, Congrats on making the all hockey hair team. All right, and then did either one of you ever had decent hockey flow? Not really. I mean, I, I had sort of like long hair down to here. Uh, yeah? Totally. Did you have like a, like a yeah. mullet? Full mullet. Full on mullet. I miss it. Who would love to see a photo of Buble's mullet? It's not that hard to find. Really? The, the guy in your fantasy league's got it. Yeah. You know how we got into the league together? Oh. He was a journalist. He was with Sports I think it was Sports Illustrated at the time, right? You were doing a story for them. And we were talking about hockey. What's, what's Sports Illustrated? Yeah. Guys, that's kind of an inside <laughs> baseball joke. It's very timely. <laughs> and uh, nothing. We got into it and I, you know, talking trash about the thing. And then he invited me into the league. And how long have I been there now? Ten, ten years. I won the championship that was taken away from me. 
in the COVID year. That's nice that you were able to make friends with a stalker. <laughs> Good for right. you. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for coming Thank out. you guys. Thank you. I'm just trying to find the picture of me with a mullet. Oh, there's, there's definitely mullet hair right there. Oh my you God. You got it already? Oh, yeah, there yeah. it is. It's pretty good. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.